Muchas gracias, mi amigo. That's perfect timing. It says we're live, so we must be live. This is Tim Dowd for Living with MS in Tenerife, and this is Meetup Monday. And here we go. You're live on YouTube. Oh, super. This is cool, dude. Here I am in Terrasas El Habli. Um, it's quite nice today, even though the Kalima's still on. But uh, we've got a nice sunset going on. I'll show you in a minute. This is Sue and Bob, or Bob and Sue, depending on where you are. Hola. 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 They contacted me. They're living in the village here for, for a while. And um, most of the people that are watching don't speak Spanish. So we'll do everything in English. <laughs> Unless Maria Albanos is on, and then you can come and say hello to Maria, because she speaks Spanish perfectly. She's coming over soon as well. You might meet her if you're oh, here. How long are you staying for? Till the 2nd of April. Till the 2nd of April. So that's one of these long-term, oh. nearly residents. <laughs> nearly residents. They'd love to be, but you guys ripped us out of Europe. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've never forgave them. <laughs> I've forgiven them. Oh, really? I've forgiven them, yeah. If you've got to live in that country now, it's, you know, that's, that, that is penance enough. Yes, we that is penance it. enough there. Okay, ladies, let's see who's, uh, who's talking. We got, uh, I can't see you because the sun's right in my eyes. So I'm going to go on my phone okay. and I'm going to turn the sound off and go and watch myself on YouTube. Is, is that sort of like... Is that selfish? Would you say that's selfish? <laughs> Watching yourself on YouTube? <laughs> so we've got to find where I am. Oh, I'm not subscribed to myself. I should be, sub I should be subscribed to myself. So we've got 49 people watching. Denise Pearson makes our Monday night with a little bit of chat. Thank you very much. I've got to watch my own ad now. Okay, uh, Craig Andrews, evening Tim. Denny Underwood's there. Hi, Denny. How's Mary? And we've got... Uh, Craig and Tree Surgeon if you're hiding, Jeff Daniels, uh, Moira Fitzsimmons, JJ's on, Alan Gebby, Christopher Cunningham from Virginia, USA. Oh, yeah. Hi Chris. Oh, oh, Pete yeah. and Shell are on, oh, oh. Jeff Daniels, Moira, uh, Sub's on, Sa uh, Sarabit Sambi, but we call him Sub because we can't say the name. All right, Sub, how are you? He's, he'll be over soon too. Uh, Tony Smith's on from Essex. Uh, Pete Shell. Simon Farrell, one of my favourite YouTubers. He's always very, very, uh, what's the word, creative in what he does. <coughs> Straight after this show tonight, I'm putting um, one of mine live. That You'll like this one, Simon. You'll like this one. So I'll put it live. It's uh, another one of Aliens Over Chaos of Aki. I've actually put it up already. So if you're a member, you get to see it first. So you can actually go and watch it now. But if you're not a member, then I'll put it up straight after here. So we got Mark Wiltshire. Evening to everybody on chat. Lovely in Loch Christianos. Mark, shame you couldn't make it tonight. But uh, if you want to meet up during the week before you go home, let me know. And we'll go on a walk together. Uh, Cole's Place. Evening, folks. I shared a video today, Colin, who I interviewed from Little Germany, um, actually made his own channel called Cole's Place. And if you go and subscribe to him and give him some love, he's put up a fantastic first uh, vlog. And Pete and Shell have also done that. Um, so if you go on both of those, but Cole's, he's really gone the whole hog. He's got the gimbal, he's got the whole thing. And uh, it's still in a little bit trouble with wind in the audio, but that's not a problem. And I'll, I'll recommend if you put music in the background, that'll, that'll take everything away. Because all you need to do is up your volume whilst you're talking, then turn it off when you're not. There you go, editing tips from Tim. I'll have to start a new channel now. So I'll go and watch that. And funnily enough, and I've not mentioned it yet, but funnily enough, he did a tour of Bournemouth. Oh. And no, these don't. people, Sue and Bob, are from Bournemouth. We are. So, Cole, if you've seen these couple, it's a small world, isn't it? But we I wouldn't like Cole. to paint it. We do know Cole. A few Coles. No, He's a young lad. Yes. He's a young lad. Uh, Pete and Shell's 57. Oh, he's young. Uh, Ian Millerton. Good evening, Ian. Uh, Alan Gerby, Craig. Vince Dunn. 
has the Kalima cleared slightly. It, it's actually lowered, so actually the Kalima isn't as high as it was, so the sun's coming through. But if you look along the plane of the ecliptic, it's, uh, you still can't see Lagomera to save your life, or the mountains, no. really. No, Can you see behind you? No. no. Have Just a look behind me. Just the bottom part, yeah. Uh, tree surgeon, lollies, <laughs> he's hiding, yeah. Uh, 63 watching, got 78 up now. Uh, Vincent Flanagan, hi Vincent. So you're one of the lucky people who's a member of the club. You can go to the community page on my channel and there's a post there that only members can see and it's a link to the video that's going to be processed straight after this. So you can have a, an early view of that one. So there you go. Uh, Pete and Sean, Morris, Simon, everybody go. I'll send you an email, Tim. We're here till the 8th of March, okay? Okay. Or you can even come next Monday. We'll, uh, we'll meet up here. Thanks so much for the inspiration, Tim. Top tips? No problem. If you want any tips, let me know. I, just, I didn't want to sort of like bombard you with a load of things you'd done wrong because you can't do anything wrong. It's your channel. Do whatever you want. Do what you want. And Zelda. Buenas noches. No, that's not Spanish. What is it? Prenhaunda is Welsh for good evening, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Prenhaunda. So, have I frozen? No, I haven't frozen. Okay. So, here we go. Um, can you hear Bob and Sue? Okay, that's a, that's a good question. If I'm pointing that way, I'm pointing to them. You're right, I'm pointing to them. Now, you might be wondering where Chris is, and she's right next to me, but we don't have a third camera because I don't have a stand for it, and I'm not going to thing it. But she says hello, yes, don't you? Yes. Hello. Yes. And if I turn everything around, it'll all fall over. There is especially much better here. Here we go. Share the device. Share the camera. Waiting. She wants this now. Go to 11. Share, share this device. Share the camera. 11. He's taking control. And here she is, Solo Mio. Hello. So you need the microphone. Could you pass the microphone mm. over? Right, Chris. So. Hey, nice to meet everybody. So what's uh, what have you ordered? I've ordered chicken and chips. Chicken and chips. Are you a bloody Brit or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got another one here. Pollo fritos y papa. Yeah. Okay, pie Frito al mojo. Al mojo. Y papas fritas. Papas fritas. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to go back in the background. What are you drinking? Me? Mm -hmm. I'm having Fanta Limon. Fanta Limon. Let me show you, while I've got this up, let me just show you where everybody is. This is the Terraza El Jable. And as you can see, the new... Um, the new hotel there the mind hotel but behind it the mountains are not really visible and this is the sunset which is beautiful there we go oh yeah we're still doing we're still doing it and uh loads of people here but we're going to kill this one now and go back to me oh solo mio Disconnect from switcher. It's really great technology, isn't it? It really is great technology. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea. I'm running on on beer. Slowly. Slowly on beer. Lentamente. Lentamente. Slowly. Or despacio. Despacio. That's the word I used to use. Master Spacio is Master more is Spacio. more slow, uh, or slower. Yes. Okay, so we got Tim. There we go. Am I pointing the right way? Yes, I am. So. When my French creeps in. <laughs> oh, you speak French as well. Only a little, a little school bit. Girl French. My mum had schoolgirl French, yes. and it was quite quite funny okay. because we were we were over in Germany mm. when I was a little boy. Well, I was probably about I mean, it was a young teenager. Yeah. And we went with the caravan to see my uncle who was in the army in the North Germany. And on the way back, my dad says, well, let's go down the Mosul Valley. Yeah. And so um, 
but he called it the Moselle, you know, like like <laughs> French like, Moselle, you know. And it was uh, so we went down the Moselle Valley, and we went through all these little villages and what have you, and we ended up going to Luxembourg because it, it, you actually end up in Luxembourg. And then from Luxembourg, we thought, well, instead of coming back through Germany, because you've really got to come all the way back and up for the motorway, we'll just nip over to the French bit and pay the pay the you know whatever toll. it is yeah, yeah. the toll and Done nip that. up to Blankenberg or wherever it was we we're going. I don't know. But anyway, we get into France and my mum says, right, now we're in France. I can speak, right? <laughs> so the first thing she did was she went to this street market that was selling vegetables and she wanted five pounds of tomatoes, right? And she ordered five kilos. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. We had tomatoes that holiday. And <laughs> every meal with tomatoes in and she, until the day she died, she would not admit that she wanted five pounds. I, I wanted five kilos. Just a little joke. I went to Germany oh, yes. many years ago. Uh -huh. and, uh, I think I was in my twenties with my wife. Uh -huh. and my brother-in-law, he was in the army in Germany. So we went to this bar, and uh, I wanted my wife would have wanted a martini. So mm. I had one dry martini. Beer. So they, she came out with dry three martinis. Dry. Dry, dry martini. I said, no, no, one. You said dry. It's <laughs> like dry. Yeah. Yeah. So I got these three martinis. They weren't even dry martinis. <laughs> they were the whole, the <laughs> vermin. Three of them, though. There were <laughs> three of them. And I said to my brother, what, what is going on here? Yeah. Uh, so he said, oh, don't worry, I drink them. So I said to my wife, you'll have to order something else. So I don't want another, another three bloody martinis. <laughs> <laughs> but we were in uh, the Hofburg house, not in Munich, but in Regensburg. And but we were with a couple who was visiting. And the Hofburg house is like a beer hall, right? Yeah. So you can have beer and schnapps. You can maybe have a white wine, you know, yeah. like an uh, Austrian wine as well. Maybe a red wine, but typically it's beer and schnapps. And um, it was quite funny because this woman's there. She says, well, what will you have? He said, what are you drinking, Tim? I said, I'm having a, 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 a local Hofbrauhaus beer. OK, I'll have one of those. And what would you like? And she turns to the guy, uh, she turns to the, the uh, waitress and says, I'll have a daiquiri. And she says, this is what you And she says, what did she say? I says, do you know where you are? <laughs> 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 Do you know where you are? Well, on Saturday we went up to the Aggie Market and I, I, I like going up there because I like to ask for all my vegetables in Spanish. I have a good practice of my A good Spanish. practice, yeah. Well, I asked what I thought was half a kilo of uh, naranjas. Uh -huh. She must have thought I said one and a half. Uh -huh. And I could see her putting all these oranges See, the thing there. is, if you say one half, so un medio, yeah, it then sounds like one and a one half. And a half yeah. Yeah. I knew yeah. what I'd done after. I'd just say made it medio. Medio, yeah. yeah. But I thought she was putting a lot of <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was putting a lot in. <laughs> but they're nice. <laughs> I shall use some. Uh, un medio. Yeah, I said, said un medio. But uh, that, that's happened a lot to me, actually, oh, because I, I, I remember I was trying to show off to my mum and dad. I'd been in Germany, I think, about three months and they came over to visit and I took them to the beer garden and we sat on this big table because they had like the, the bench tables yes. and then they had these big round ones and they were closest to the thing and it was quite quiet uh, in the afternoon. So um, it was under the, it, during the week. So we sat on this big table that seats six or eight depending on how, many, how close you are, right? Yeah. So I'm there, my mum and dad are there and I'm showing off and I wanted six bratwurst because they served, they served the little bratwurst in yes. Bavaria, not yeah. the big ones like oh, in North Germany. Bavaria. So the bratwurstl. Yeah. And actually there's the oldest sausage kitchen in the world oh. is right in Regensburg where we lived, right across from where we sat. So I said, uh, and I asked, I wanted six bratwurst with kraut. Yeah? Yeah. So it's six, six bratwurst with kraut. Yeah? And I asked for sechs Mal. Bratwurst mit Kraut, right? Which is six times. And a, and a portion is six, right? So the woman looks at me and she says, Are you sure? I said, Yeah. And then and then my dad says, and I'll have a mixed grill. And my mum says, Well, I'll have a mixed grill. So we ordered two mixed grills and Zexmal Bratwurst with Kraut. And she looked at us and are you sure? Yeah. And she obviously thought, he doesn't know what he's talking about, yes. or there's more people coming. Because yeah. we're on this big table, you see. 
Anyway, she brought 36 sausages. <laughs> and my mum says, you're going to eat all that, Tim. <laughs> and I'm be showing off. I went, yeah, it's normal, you know. It's <laughs> growing lad. I'm a growing, I'm a growing <laughs> lad. I'll tell you what, if you eat six portions of sauerkraut, Oh, no, no, you're not nice to know, I And the other thing on the similar vein is I used to work in a furniture store in Carnarvon because my dad was custodian of Carnarvon Castle and I worked in this uh, furniture store. And uh, I used to, we used to go and meet for lunch or something like that. My dad says, go and get these um, copied for me, Tim. Yeah. So I, my office was, ne my shop was next to the offices of the Carnarvon and Denby Herald, which was the local newspaper. But the local newspaper was very sort of Welsh, you know. And um, at the time, Welsh nationalism was a big thing, you know, it was at yeah. the time of the fires and all that, you know. Yeah. So people were sort of, there was people walking around with cards saying, yeah. I only speak Welsh, I don't speak English, you know. And if you want to talk to me, you've got to learn Welsh and all that, which I think is, you know, it's fair, yeah. Yeah. it's their country, you know. So anyway, I walk in this place and I said, um, I said can you copy these, please? And um, she said something in Welsh and I didn't understand. And and she said, now. I said, yes, right? And so, because I wanted it done now, right? Yeah. And uh, she was obviously messing with me because she did it nine times. <laughs> and the, the Welsh word for the number nine is now. So, in dai tri pedwa pimp chwe saith uith now deg. So that was uh, so. That's another story. Yeah. It is, yes. and the other the other story about, about is is how you tell the time. Oh, yes. In Germany, oh, well, we that, you we tell late. the time. Yeah, you tell the time in Germany. If it's half, if it's half something, yes. Yes. it's half, half two, two. Yes. right? So half five is four thirty. Yes, yes. And I was always an hour late yes. for all. So I'd, I I would meet girls and say I'll meet you at half six, right? Yes. And then. So eventually I learned that if I met a girl and we swapped numbers, oh, there, there wasn't yeah. swapping numbers in them days, you didn't have a mobile phone, no, did no, you? But you, you arranged to meet somewhere and she says, how about half six? No, half six. I said, how about six? Yeah, don't <laughs> I, I, I would yes. always, yes. I would always meet the them yeah, on the hour, yeah. Well, you did, getting back to food, we were on a cruise once, because we quite like cruising, but we haven't done much of it as, you know, we're locked down. But we were on this cruise once. Now, I'm not a great dessert eater, but this one night we went down the dining room. We had a good crowd at the table with us. They were quite a laugh. And we decided, well, I decided that I liked all the sweets this time. I, they were all ones that I dozen, liked. Yeah, about right? half a dozen. Mm. And when the waitress came over, waiter, I said, could I have a small portion of each one? Ah, oh, see, I oh, was well, see, it wasn't Spanish, but um, anyway. I, I, that's why I ordered and everybody else at the table said, oh, we'll have the same. Well, they came out. They were six full-size portions. Uh, for each person. Portion, and we had a table full of sweets. Because they don't and do small said, portions. <coughs> they come out the fridge as a portion. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. You know, so yeah. you couldn't have a small, you had to have how it comes. So all yes. the bloody... Yeah. So you should have ordered six portions and six spoons. Yes, yeah. exactly. There you yes. go. You've never seen such a table groaning under the weight of dessert. Yeah. So I said, we'll have to eat. <laughs> so, um, why Tenerife? Why Tenerife? We have a friend. Oh, well, let's start at the beginning. We do a lot of ballroom dancing and sequence dancing for those people that know what that is. And we met this lady, Elena name is, and found out that she actually owned a villa in Tenerife. And I jokingly said to her one time, you don't want company when you go out next, do you? Oh, yes, please, she said. I was quite surprised she took us up. Yes. So we came out with her. Yeah, but before that, she came over here with her husband to buy a villa. They were going to move yeah. to Tenerife. Yeah. They got the villa. It was their dream. It was their it? dream. They yeah. all kitted out and made a lovely job on it. Beautiful. And he passed away. No. Yeah. So... Uh, Never wait. Never wait to no, make no, a change. No, no. So, unfortunately, she never really, I think it was brought back too many memories. So yeah. she never used it. She never used it. No. So we came over with her. She had a health problem, so I'm not going to that, but she had health problems, so she really needed her help. So we came with her, and um, we've been coming ever since. 
I did come years ago with my husband, but we stayed up in the north, mm -hmm. Porta della Cruz, mm -hmm. and we came about three years every winter up there, but only for a month. And um, that started me off too, you know. So but, um, I loved it from the beginning. I love the beauty of the mountains and everything. Well, you just can't get too much of it. No, and it. the climate's wonderful. The beautiful. different climates. For, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm used to hot weather being in Australia, but it's humid out there. Mm -hmm. This is lovely. It yeah. is absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't want to live here, to be honest? Yeah. If you can. If you can live anywhere in the world, yes. then inland, so Europe is a great place to live for oh, yeah. for yeah. all the you know yeah. the, the medical and everything and all yeah. that. And the best place in Europe at the moment, I think, are the Canary Islands. Yes. And the best Canary Island that I think is Tenerife. It's the yeah. biggest, and it's just the most diverse. Yes. So basically, you can sun yourself on the beach in the morning and nip up and play in the snow in the afternoon. Exactly. Yes. 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 In fact, um, Tenerife night skies, uh, or if one of these uh, stargazing places, oh, well, they're actually <laughs> they're actually above the Kalima at the moment. Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's getting better. So uh, yeah. if you want to go up there, and if you need anything like that, don't forget to go and see Dan at Tenerife First Excursions. He's a bit under the weather at the moment, but um, he's opening a new shop as well. So he's going to have a second shop now. And the second shop, it was announced yesterday, is going to be near the Swedish church in Los Cristianos. So if you're coming up from the uh, from the the main drag there up towards um, uh, which which way is it? Towards a Deki Grand Hotel, not a Deki Grand, Arona Grand, Arona Grand Hotel. So up that. And they've done it brand new. The path now is four times wider than it was. And if you're there on the left, and he's opening officially uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, so go around and see that. I'm not sure whether he's going to be there or not, but I'm sure Sahar will be there. And if not Sahar, then one of the fantastic teams. So if you need any of your stuff like that, go and nip down and give Dan some love. And uh, as we all know, he lost his mum not so long ago, and he's not been—he's been a bit down. So give him some love, and uh, he'll be back with alacrity uh, when before you know it. Okay, so Bob and Sue, we've ordered food. Shall we tell them what we've ordered? Yes. So you've ordered pechuga de pollo, y papas fritas, or. Chicken so, breast and chips. And side salad. Don't forget the salad. That's the important. side salad. It must have been, that's and important salad. here. Uh -huh. I, I, I usually feed the salad to the pig. <laughs> <laughs> and I am the pig. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was the salad bit which attracted me to the, to the meal. Of course it was. Yes. Of course it was. And you've ordered the... Parami yeah. pescado. Pescado al dia. Si. Um, con papas... Arru arrugadas. 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 Curly, uh, uh, wrinkly potatoes. Wrinkly, wrinkly. <laughs> ensalada. Ensalada. Christina has ordered uh, Canarian chicken, so pollo frito al mojo. Small portion. Small portion. Oh. For a fiver. <laughs> Well, she hasn't ordered papas fritters. I've ordered papas fritters, and she can have some. <laughs> and what else? Well, then. Oh, I ordered my, uh, I've got to get this right, mejillones de tigre, so tiger mussels, mm. which are basically just mussels, but they take them out of the shell, they mix it with bechamel sauce and some spices, like mojo, and put it back in one half of the shell, coat it in egg and flour and breadcrumbs, and deep fry it. So it's deep fried mussel with, it's like a like a croquette basically. It's a mussel croquette with, with mojo sauce. I've ordered um, ham croquettes, and, uh, and of course the, uh, the chips. And when it arrives, we're gonna finish the show. So, I have to read a few. I've been ignoring your comments on purpose for the simple reason is I'm concentrating on our guests. But I will, I will now uh, solo me. Oh, solo me! Oh. So you're not in the shot anymore. So no, you can start. Pick, can you start can pick your nose, nose and there, there, right? You know. Yeah, you got me there. Could have picked a better one. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to go in and see what you guys are saying. 
So in the meantime, actually I'll turn this round and you can see the sunset maybe. I'll turn the sunset, there you go. Oh, that's probably not, not that fantastic, is it? Because I've got the thing in the way. Let me do this. Let me do that. I think you cracked it, Jim. It's waist under there now. Eh? It's waist under the, the bracket. So okay, cool. Yes. So let's have a look. Ali Bennett, hi Ali. Don't forget, I've uh, put up a, a movie that only people know. Actually, you can't. I don't know why I'm looking at the camera. You can't see me. So uh, we met Daniel. We were over. Lovely guy, says Pete and Shell. Uh, Daniel deserves success, they're hard working, very hard working. <coughs> New shop beside Guru Kebab and Cocktail Place, very handy. Wish Daniel all the best in his new shop, says Roger. That was Mark before. Simon's brilliant live, and that was a brilliant live Andrew done last night, Anne. Okay. I'm reading backwards, so evening Tim, says Jay Steer, Joanna. Wood built a restaurant on the moon, there's no atmosphere. <laughs> and uh, Tree Sage is doing a great job, thank you very much. Thank you, Sam. Okay, if I'm reading backwards, it doesn't make much sense, so then we're going to go back up here. It would be lovely to see you on Tim and Andrew's Lives, Anne. Bet you have some stories to tell Tim of Germany. I do. <laughs> Are you meeting Andrew again, Anne? Okay, Anne, Anne, uh, Anne Elton met Andrew. Andrew's the night strider. Yes, I know a night strider, yes. Nice guy. Plenty of housework to do stripping wallpaper. It doesn't really work if I'm reading backwards because they're answering the, <laughs> the, the question before. Okay. You had big sausages or something, I remember this one, Pato the Duck. Oh, the big sausages, no, they weren't big sausages. Let me, let me just go back to me here. The food we had last night, that's one. The food we had last night was actually chickpeas. They were um, uh, falafel, falafel. It's chickpea with flour and spices mixed up and then um, uh, bread, not breaded, just just deep fried, isn't it? Or we have two left. We still got two left. Yeah, we didn't eat them all. We're going to have them tomorrow, aren't we? Mm -hmm. With the rest of the tin tomatoes, I'm going to boil <laughs> boil them down with so some exciting. with some spices and and herbs. Mm -hmm. Boil them down to an arabiata sauce with a bit of garlic, and we're going to have those as a starter. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to have as well? We said that was going to be the starter. Then we're going to do something else, weren't we? You'll probably see it anyway. Yeah. When the food comes, I've got my little camera here, my little hat cam, so I can finish today's um, short. For those of you who haven't been watching the shorts, I do a 60 second video every day of what I eat, and it shows you how I'm making the portions small. But a couple of people have contacted me saying that why is my plate massive and Christina's <laughs> plate is small? And that is, the fisheye lens in this camera, right? So anything that's close to the lens looks massive, and anything that's slightly just to the side looks small. The plates are the same size. The plates are the same size. And it, it, they're tea plates. Both, they're both tea plates. We only ever eat off tea plates. So there's a lot of people saying, Tim's got a massive plate. I said to you, you said to me. was you, wasn't it? See, it was them. I said he's got a big plate, well, good diet. That's a good diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did say that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So that's the sort of diet I want to go on. <laughs> it was you. Said, it's yeah, a small it plate. Me. I said, well, it's not very small. <laughs> Uh, tell Bob and Sue I live in the town centre just off the triangle. Oh, lovely job, Lee. Oh, yes, well. we know the town centre. We know the triangle. That's the gay area. Oh, it so is. Don't say that. It is. You, you, used, you no, can say the gay area. It used, it used to, to be, be many years ago. Oh, yeah? No. Uh, well, it's all gay. Many years ago <laughs> when you were interested. <laughs> don't you? Yeah, when I moved away. That, then, the, then it says the guy's gone. Yes. What, yeah, we'll just have to go, go for women now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> They was known for 
And druggies as well. Well, that's more ah, Pete and Dave. David Ostland's on. Hi, Pete and Dave. Get the lovely couple to do some ballroom. So there's space oh, behind yeah. you. Oh, yes. There's space behind yes. you. You're not allowed. No. Level four, I'm afraid. Yeah. Level four. We thank would love God, to. dear. Yeah, thank God. Yes. Yes, we would love We're to do We're saved so. again. Oh. It's still going? daylight. Is it still daylight at 1825? Oh, yes. I thought we were 2022. <laughs> Yeah, the actual sunset tonight is uh, probably 18.45, so we've, got, yes. yeah, we've probably got another 20 minutes. Yeah. And the, the hill really but it goes really fast here because we're nearer the equator than you guys, yes, so it's zoom, not like Australia. it goes down, yeah. The mountains appearing behind you as you speak. The mountains are appearing behind me yeah. as we speak. There you go. It looks like something out of Stephen King. It yes, it does. Very moonlike. So, um, is there anything you want to say to anybody? No, it's well, uh, just... Uh, well, I to, yeah, we, we, we enjoy meeting you, Tim. Yeah, we see you so many times on the telly. Plus, she's doing bread. I can't get up to it. She's seen it. <laughs> I said, I'm going to watch I said, are you getting up in a minute? So, so you watch me in bed? Yeah. Oh, so now we I'll see, remember that. Yeah. So now we <laughs> see you, I we can get up early. Not the bath. That's what I do at home. So that's in the bath. everyone in the bath. Oh my god. <laughs> Is anybody watching me in the bath right now? <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody watching me in the bath? No. no, so you haven't got to watch me in bed anymore, we can get up. <laughs> Uh, you've seen him in the flesh. A lot of people watch on TV, don't they? I always imagine you watching on a phone or something no. like I do. No. But a lot of people watch, watch on TV. TV. At home no. quite a lot. In yeah? the bed. In bed it's a nice big screen. We would be use it, Sue uses her phone. No. But at home, we're on the big television. Mm. We've got if he's watching the football, I take myself off to the bedroom and I have a look at the it. The vlogs that are going There are priorities, I'm sorry to say, Jim. Uh -huh. <laughs> but football is quite important. Football is very important. Yes. Yeah, I mean, if it wasn't for football, there'd be more wars. <laughs> you would, wouldn't yeah, quite be wars as there is. <laughs> there used to be, there's a book when I was a kid, I was probably about 12 or 13, there's a book called Albion Albion. Okay. I can't remember the author, but a mate of mine was reading it, and it was a, a alternative future so it wasn't science fiction like space travel, no. but it was like somebody wrote a book that in the future there's no countries anymore, there's only football teams. Oh. Oh, right. So the people were, were, were like fans, so you had to be a fan of a team, yeah. right? And uh, it was sort of in the, in the 70s, so it was, it was all sort of hooligan type stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a dystopian future where the country just decided to be football teams. And now that's what you've got in the UK. All oh, right, very much so. Very much. Yeah. Go and read Albion Albion, yes. written in the in the late sixties, early seventies. Albion yeah. Albion. It wasn't a very good book, to oh. say the truth. Uh, it was just it, the subject matter was good, but it was um, not very well written. Uh, well, at the time, I wasn't really a critic of no. of literature, but it was sort of like. Um, geared to the teenage 70s kid yeah. uh, typically in the north or not no not in the north because Albion Albion is basically West Brom. yeah the the the, the, pr the protagonist was was a guy called Whitey something or other named after White Hart Lane which oh, is yeah. which was uh, the Spurs yeah so yeah Albion Albion so have a look that on on thing there's um, I don't know if you're watching the adverts before the thing, but there's an advert in YouTube at the moment where these two twins tell you, yes. I, will, I will teach you how to make money with Amazon yeah. without selling stuff, yeah. right? And I watched it last night. It's a free thing to watch. I thought, I'll watch it last night. It's an hour. And it takes an hour to tell you, you know, this stuff. But basically, it's uh, selling audio books. Oh, and you've got to write the audio book, record the audio book, list it on audible.com, and then multiply it so these, these are the four things he does and actually it's quite a good system yeah. it's quite a good system and they say we, we got writers for you all you've got to do is give them a topic and they'll write your book and it costs you five hundred dollars for them to write your book stars do. so you just gotta you just gotta invest five hundred dollars for them to write you a book and then you get people to read it you know to like yeah. ladies and gentlemen you know with the voice 
and that costs you money, but you can do it to say, I'll give you a percentage of the profits. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, you list it on Audible, and then you've got residual income for the rest of your life. And people are earning 20,000, 30,000 a month or so. Yeah. Obviously, it's, it's, uh, they're doing the numbers game. So there are people that are earning that much, but 90% of you yeah, it's won't. Like it, it, really. It's much. It's a bit like you, you need a lot of people to do it yes, for you yeah. to make money, yeah. but the people who are doing it are making all, are doing it all. Well, making a little bit. Oh, yeah, making a little bit, yeah. Can I so, ask you, just sorry to interrupt you. That's but, quite all right. But um, Amazon, yeah. can you use it here in Tenerife? Yes, yeah. but a lot of stuff you can't get. Right, okay. For the simple reason we are a special tax haven, we have a we have a, a, a VAT at seven percent. Oh, so if you want to buy anything electronic, they won't deliver here. For the simple reason is, they have to sell it to you without VAT and issue an export um, yeah. paperwork, yeah. Yeah. and then the export paperwork comes in here and you pay the VAT here, plus you pay a, a charge, which they call a dispensary charge, uh, which is equal to the VAT in Spain. So you can use Amazon here for normal household goods or s small stuff or books or whatever, but y if there's a lot of stuff that just won't deliver here. Sensio coffee machine over. Right. I tried to order coffee bags and when I put the address in they said we don't deliver to this address. They would deliver to a decky, the main town at the decky. No, well then well then um no it's not that granular. It's either Canary Islands or not Canary Islands. So they, they won't deliver to one part and not the other. So maybe the you put in the wrong uh, zip code. No. Three eight six seven eight. Yeah. A lot of times, uh, the zip code isn't recognised for the, by the system because they don't put the Canarian zip codes in. Oh, right. So I've I've had that I've had that as well. Yeah. But uh, if they will deliver to a deck, how did you did you put a different address in? I put that address in that we're in one nine six Calo Duarte. Uh huh. And they kept putting one nine six. Swainer Azul uh -huh. coming up, yeah. and they kept putting the postal code, the zip code for a decade, which okay. was 70. Yeah. 60, yeah. And that so that went through, did it? No. It would have done oh, if did. I put that address, but I didn't want it being delivered up there. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, they won't deliver you here anyway. Most okay. of the Amazon stuff, um, they pretend to deliver it and say you weren't in, and then tell you oh. to pick it up at the post yeah. office anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that, it, I wouldn't have minded if we could yeah. have got the bus But up luckily, there, but we did find them in... Um, they were cheaper than online. Yes. They weren't cool sensitive dude. proper ones, but they're, they're good enough, yeah? They good good enough. Yeah. yeah, good enough. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so that was... Yeah, shall we get, get them from Macadona? Macadona. I'll just come down to El, whatever it's called down here. The Eclipse, eh? Yeah. <coughs> Where's that to? Eclipse, the Eclipse. The Eclipse. Yeah, quite a nice little coffee place eclipse evening tim pauline here how are you keeping i'm keeping well thank you i'm reading backwards again see the hills 74 yeah, thumbs oh up yeah. 110 people watching yeah. we're waiting for a strictly moment <laughs> <laughs> hi tim shoot out for grandad mark please it's a shout out a shout out if i shoot out for grandad mark <laughs> hey grandad mark yes our daylight is getting longer here So we've been having fun. I'm going to concentrate on our guests now and we're going to finish up because the foods are just about to arrive. And Heather McCarthy just come. Ian's leaving and we've been on for 39 minutes. So I think that's long enough. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that little bell for notifications for when I upload new videos, which I'm going to be doing soon. I've, I've tried everything. I've got everything set up, but Kalima. And even the walk tomorrow. I don't know whether I'll go for a walk tomorrow because it's, you know, the dust in the air. It's not good, is it? It's not good for you. It's not no. good for you. Look at the hills over there now. They just appeared. Yep. Is that a good sign for tomorrow? Not really. Not really, no. <laughs> but the Kalima will be over by Wednesday. According to, uh, according to the weather, weather people, it will be over by tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday. 
So there you go. Don't forget, Wednesday is Balcony Banter. I'm going to be recording another little interview with Christina, and she's going to talk on a subject that she's um, that she's seen or heard in the in the news, and we're going to play that. She won't do it live because she, she says you got to take it so I'll speak properly. Isn't it right? Yeah. Let me just turn you out, Chris, so you can see. Uh, yeah, give me a wave. There she is. Okay. Give me a wave. Give me a wave. That's it. I'm gonna do it like that. There we go. Oh, there we go. You're all, you're all on now. Oh, oh. party time. Oh. <laughs> so we'll say Toronto. Yeah. So ladles and jelly spoons. Adios. This is Tim Dowd, Christina, Sue and Bob. Adios. For living with MS in Tenerife on Meetup Monday, saying goodbye. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care. What's this one? I don't even know what's playing.